Hey you, thanks for coming and shopping with me again. You have been so patient with me while I get these soft-spoken versions out to you. Finally, I figured out what my issues were. I had no space on my phone after adding voiceover so I could not export them. And the microphone I ordered was not compatible with the iPhone. So I got a new one and delete all the voiceover. But now I will be able to edit and do voiceover on my MacBook Air, which is what I'm doing right now. So again, thanks so much for your patience and hopefully this works. And if you are new here, welcome to Fox City ASMR. I am based in San Francisco, California, and I make first person shop with me ASMR vlogs. But soon I will be making walk with me vlogs as well as a day in the life vlogs, all ASMR. I have upload a no talking version as well as two soft-spoken versions of each video that I upload. One is whispered soft-spoken in case you wear headphones, and I also have a version of the soft-spoken a bit louder in case you prefer not to wear headphones. I am still figuring out my uploading schedule, but I do set all my new videos to premieres, so you can subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the upcoming vlogs. In these ASMR soft-spoken shopping vlogs, I will talk about some of the products I pick up as well as story times and random stuff happening in my life. I am an oversharer, so if your goal is to zone out and fall asleep, I hope these help. If you enjoy these types of videos, go ahead and give it a like, and if you didn't like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs down, and let me know in the comments how I can improve. I recently just came back from a four-day weekend. We went to go visit my father-in-law at his new farm in Ukiah, California. Have you been to Ukiah? It's really beautiful. It's very up in the hills, and I love hearing all the nature sounds and the beautiful birds. It was really refreshing after an entire year without leaving the very noisy city of San Francisco. It was really refreshing. It was also wonderful to see my kids connect with their paternal side of their family that they haven't seen in a really long time. Um, their grandfather is high risk and they can live a little bit farther away. So, especially my youngest daughter, who's about 19 months, hasn't seen her grandfather in over a year, and her aunt in over a year, that she knew that that was her family, so it ended up being such a great trip, and she had to spend some time with some dogs that they have there, Ted and Murray, and she had a lot of fun getting to know them, she hasn't really been around big animals like dogs because again we live in San Francisco so everybody kind of has their dogs on a leash and they don't there's no dog running up to to my kids on the sidewalk so that was really fun for her to experience getting with my dog and just really fun stuff there with grandparents um by the way if you ever have questions or want to talk about anything in particular um, please let me know in the comments down below and I can talk about that in the next, my next voiceover. Um, today I am going back to this specific vlog, Vlog 11 at Safeway. I have not been able to do the voiceover. Well, I have been able to do the voiceover. I just not, I have not been able to export, which is the problem. But that is fixed, and I'm so excited to get back into making these for you. I really appreciate your support and your comments. Oh, your comments are wonderful. The fact that you're going out of your way just to continue with a kind comment, and just, you know, even if you are just giving me some criticism, I take it all in, in, in good fun, and I hope that, that you share more about what you want from this channel. Not just about my videos is about you too so how can we improve together how can we make these better for, for all of us you know so i always get capitalism man. it really does work i saw this uh, bag full of different types of chips and it had mario and princess peach on it my son loves mario and obviously i'm a 90s kid 
And so I grew up with Nintendo 64 and all these wonderful games. So it's, you know, I'm a sucker for advertisement like that. I ended up checking the gourmet cheese section of Safeway. Whenever I do get gourmet cheeses to take home, I usually go to Trader Joe's. I find that Trader Joe's has a better selection as well. It is way cheaper than Safeway cheese. But today, just to put everything in one shopping trip, I ended up checking out a lot of their cheeses here. It is pretty loud in this section, so I cut off a little bit of, of what I recorded, but I really love these little balls of cheese. My daughter loves the Gouda one, so I'm gonna grab one of those bags. And of course, check out the other slices over here. While we were at my father-in-law's farm, uh, my sister-in-law um, took us to a farmer's market up there in Ukiah, and that was really great. We got to try a lot of yummy vegetables and some desserts, as well as I bought a couple of jellies, like uh, ghost pepper jellies, that I'm really excited to try out. And so I'm looking forward to going back to the grocery store this week and getting a couple of cheeses to go along with that jelly, maybe maybe a baguette. Oh, I can't even think. I'm just so excited. I just want to try all the cheeses. And which one would you have with some ghost pepper jelly? Do you like different types of jelly? I love having some jelly salami and some brie cheese or some goat cheese. Um, burrata is really good. I love burrata cheese. Uh, what's your favorite type of cheese? I know cheese, we're talking about cheese, but cheese is wonderful. Are you vegan? And if you're vegan, um, what what is the cheese that you like the most that really just makes whatever you put it on melt? I am going to be doing a whole vegan shop with me vlog. It's really easy here in San Francisco because there is a lot of people that are vegetarian, vegan, and I have noticed that my local Safeway, even just my local Safeway, has a lot more variety when it comes to vegan food in all aspects of, of that. So let me know if there's anything you want to check out in the vegan section, anything that you would like for me to take a little bit more time for checking out. I usually just go shopping for things for myself, my roommate, or just my neighbors. So I end up getting around the same things. I have been trying a lot of new stuff because I'm making these videos. And again, they did remodel this Safeway. Well, they are still remodeling it. So everything is everywhere. So that's another way that I find new items too, is because I don't know where anything is. <laughs> so I end up just wandering around and, and just checking new items out. Like these Beyond Burgers. I've heard these are really good, plant-based patties. They don't look very appetizing, but when I go to the vegan um, shop with me vlog I am gonna buy things that I want to try out so I'm looking forward to that because I am going to go back and get some of these plant-based um, meats or I don't know what, what do you what do you call them? yeah I mean beyond sausage yes yeah, so proteins vegan proteins um, any that you recommend any brands anything you want me to check out for that vegan vlog let me know also going to oh I've actually heard again impossible impossible is a good brand I want to try um, the cheeses so that is what I'm most excited about is the vegan cheeses because I love uh, cheese in general wherever it's coming from I love cheese um, I am lactose intolerant so vegan cheeses would actually suit my stomach very well and again I'm excited to try that I ended up getting some of this al pastor pork just because I was not going to have time to make dinner. I love these little packs right here, but I do prefer to do it myself. Um, carne asada, that was really good, but I do like al pastor better when it comes to this brand. I tried the basil garlic. These sausages were not my favorite, but they were my, my uh, boyfriend's favorite, so I will be getting them again. Um, I don't know, I just something about it just made me not I'm not used to having basil in my sausage maybe the garlic I was fine with but the basil really threw me off we'll definitely have to try 
tried again to really get. Maybe it was the sauce that put them in. Look at this deal right here. The raw shrimp, the extra jumbo, 16 to 20 count per pound. Thank you for saving me. They have this amazing deal. $5 a pound is like this. And I usually see a lot of people on my page because they have the $5 Friday sales. Um, and this goes great with the yakisoba that I like to do for lunch sometimes. Great with all different kinds of pasta. If I want to put it in ramen, udon, or just just have like a seafood broth. I also do these uh, fries with the different types of batter. I just did uh, Italian seasoned batter for those and we dipped them in different dipping sauces. That was pretty great with some rice on the side. That was good. Another thing that we eat a lot of is deli meat. We personally don't eat like a lot of it but we do share a lot of the items here in our household with the other people that live here so we you know we consume certain products a lot more than would if we weren't sharing. Another thing that I love is the Yakult. I have been having this since I was a little girl in Mexico and I really thought this was a Mexican product just because it was so ingrained in my childhood that it's like every day I would have a Yakult, you know, right before I would go to school. But it's an Asian product and I always talk about it in my soft-spoken vlogs because it's really good and it's just my children love it. It's wonderful. It tastes so good. It's nostalgia and the wrapping is wonderful as well. I also got some cheese sticks. My daughter loves her cheese sticks after I pick her up from school. She is still relatively new to her Head Start school. Um, she goes for about six and a half hours every day. And I don't think she's used to the food yet because they don't really put much seasoning or things like that because of allergies and all that fun stuff and she's used to seasoning like she loves like seasoned food um, we are very lucky to live close to a lot of wonderful food from all over the world her favorite are shumai uh, we go to a dim sum place here in chinatown that's really great and we absolutely love it and that is her favorite food but she i mean again she loves seasoning so she loves indian food she will eat the chicken tikka masala even if it's spicy she'll eat it and then she'll ask for milk <laughs> anyway before i get sidetracked again um, she hasn't been eating very well at school so the first thing she asks right when she sees me when i pick her up is cheese cheese <laughs> She knows all, that I will have a snack, either some seaweed or some cheese, but obviously seaweed isn't very filling. Um, so I do bring some protein with me and some crackers and something that, you know, sometimes she loves carrots, but she loves cucumbers. Cucumbers are her favorite. And these peat ice coffees, have you tried these before? I end up, I love caramel, anything. Uh, burnt caramel, even better, but these iced coffees, I love, I love the Starbucks iced coffees. Um, I don't get them. There's no Starbucks around where I live. So, I mean, there's a lot of great coffee. I live close to Little Italy, so there's a lot of, in, in San Francisco, and there's a lot of great coffee shops that do amazing coffee. But you know that generic iced coffee is just so good. I don't know why it's so good. Anyways, I really enjoy my iced coffee here that I grabbed. Um, I will, I think I'm going to go back to the, for the real cream. I think I have like an Irish cream um, Pete's coffee that I want to go get. This one was absolutely wonderful. The caramel one. way so it is pretty great to be able to just check out some of the things on my cart I really want to go back and do the whole uh, soda section they do have about half of a mile like a wide range of different sodas definitely want to go back and do one of those and again their office space right here at Safeway has gotten bigger they have a lot more items there used to be a Walgreens right across from the Safeway, but it got closed down because people were stealing too much 
from it. It just, they decided to close it because of that reason. So when you couldn't find something here at Safeway, you would go to Walgreens and vice versa. But now that Walgreens is gone, they definitely have a lot more products. And they don't have, at least at this point when I record it, they did not have uh, enough space for all the products that they, that they brought in. I assume that they've gotten new shelves for this specific aisle because they were getting new shelves for the entire Safeway. <laughs> But tape is one of those things that you buy it and somehow it disappears and when you need it the most you can't find it so you go buy more and then when you don't need it and you're decluttering you end up finding like eight rolls of, of tape. Like does that happen to you? It happens to you. And of course my favorite part of the cleaning aisle is the sponge sponge bags. I absolutely love squeezing them and I do all my dishes by hand so I always try to look for new ones or, or ones that do a better job because of course there's certain pans that need certain ways to clean them. I really enjoyed these scrub dots. They're really good without scratching the pans but the little Scrubbing little balls do end up fading away rather quickly, probably about a week's use. And again, I do all my dishes by hand, so I'll wash my dish my dishes about two or three times a day. And I also have a roommate, so he washes his own dishes, so we use a lot of sponges here. But I do enjoy these specifically for the dots. I know, again, I just said that they don't last very long. But when they do, they, they work great, especially for my nonstick pans. They really do work great for that. Now that my daughter is at school, she is going for about six and a half hours every single day, Monday through Friday. So I have a lot more time on my hands, which is why I'm really excited to go making more of these videos. I'll be able to go to new stores that are farther away from my neighborhood. There's a new Korean market that opened up on the other side of the city that I'm really excited to check out and go visit. There's a lot of yummy things that I can't wait to check out. I want to go to Japantown and, and do a video at their Daiso store. I don't know if, if you know what Daiso is, but it's kind of like a 99 cent store. It's a little bit more expensive than a dollar store. It's more like between a dollar fifty and ten bucks. But it's very durable things. And a lot of the items that I have bought for for my home from Daiso are still in great condition after years of having it. So just because it's inexpensive to your wallet doesn't mean that it's cheap. You know what I mean? But I'm looking forward to taking it along and doing that as well as going to my favorite Japanese grocery store in Japantown. I'm looking forward to going back to that and going into the Mission District and shopping at some of the local Mexican grocery stores that they have there. There's a lot of things that I've been missing um, from these grocery stores because there's really no reason for me to be going into the Mission District. I have not gone to, um, to do my groceries there. I used to jump from neighborhood to neighborhood and get something at the farmer's markets, get something in Chinatown, get something in, in the Mission, and so on. And I have limited myself to the surrounding neighborhoods or any walking distance neighborhood to go get my groceries. Sometimes I just go shop in Chinatown. Sometimes I go down to the local Safeway. Sometimes I go to a couple of other stores around here. Um, but for some reason, American stores love love to have loud music maybe it's not just american stores let me know where you're from and if they have very loud music at the grocery store or at the clothing store wherever you go because here it really does sound like you're at a rave or a disco or something <laughs> it is so loud i don't know why it's so loud sometimes you can't even think you really can't oh there's mr uh, magic erasers soap scum I used them on my own shower and they did wonders for the floor. I have to go back and get more. I, on, I did not know that you had to get these really wet. These are great for, for wall stains, especially if you have kids. 
Oh my god, there were so many stains in my kids' bedroom. <laughs> Um, and they have all been washed away with these awesome mystery and magic berries that I definitely have to go to the more. Um, again, I am doing a lot of cleaning around now that my kids are out of the house for a few hours a day. Um, we can get back to a little bit of normalcy and actually um, get some of these chores done in a tiny manner. Again, every day is different and my mental health is way more important than my dirty dishes. So if you have some dirty dishes at home, that's okay. You know, it's your dishes. You are more important than dishes. Your mental health is more important than dishes. You having space to think and spend with your kids if you have kids or read a book that you wanted to read or, or watch your favorite show or new show, whatever. Take time for yourself. Who cares about the dirty dishes? You know, love yourself a little bit and, and it's okay, you know. Now, my, my dishes are almost all clean, <laughs> but I am very, very, very close to having this whole house back to how I want it. Of course we live in it, so it's not sparkly clean, and we'll never be sparkly clean, because again, we live, we use everything that we have. Um, we have two kids and roommate, and like, so, it's a very lived in space, and it's also a very old apartment, so there's been a lot of families that have gone through. It used to be, my apartment used to be like an art student apartment for a while, so a lot of artists, art students from the, the Art Institute and other artist colleges here in San Francisco have gone through it. And it's wonderful to see the memories and the stains from other artists that have lived here. And now that, that we have kids here, it's just, it's great to have those bones of the house. But again, my house is very lived in. Because it is very lived in, sometimes it just feels like I can never catch up to to the live living of it. Do you know what I mean? Um, and growing up, I didn't really have like a space of my own, like a lot of people can relate. So now that I have my own home, it's really hard for me to put things on the wall and and just make it a home. But I have kids and a family and I want to do that for myself, for my childhood self, but also for my now self. Um, I think it's time for me to not be afraid to put some photos on the wall and make this house my home. And be proud of, be proud of it. You know what I mean? Be proud of it. Now, I ended up having to get some pull-ups for my daughter. She has been getting free uh, diapers at school during the pandemic because she wasn't able to go in. So, okay, so the school that my kid goes to, they provide everything because of allergies and all that, not, not really fun stuff, but all that stuff. They provide everything there. So they provide food, they provide diapers, wipes, everything she's going to need, they provide it. During the pandemic, she wasn't going to school, so they provided all that to us. So we would go into, we would walk down to her school, and we would get her diapers and her wipes, and they would send her food. Um, fortunately for us, we were not suffering from an empty fridge, so I decided that not to take the food that they were offering for us because I just felt like that we, we didn't need it, so maybe they could give it to a different family they had other older kids or younger kids that weren't getting help from their school but now that she's at school she actually gets the diapers there and the wipes there and the food there so they no longer give it to us to take home so I was running out of diapers I think I had like two diapers left when I went shopping and I ended up getting a couple more to last us for the week and again, because she's at school five days a week, she uses diapers there. So we're using less diapers at home, obviously. So like what would last us for a week, now lasts us for two weeks and so on. And it's pretty great. Sometimes it, will, it lasts us for longer. I also love coming in here to the discount section. It's not as big anymore. Um, 
because they did get rid of a lot of their items. But I love coming in here because again, as I've said in previous soft-spoken vlogs, I love finding things to donate. There's a lot of really cool toys here. Um, a lot of the times, uh, there's a lot of food donation and clothing donation, but there's not a lot of like activities for kids and toys for kids. And if you've ever struggled as a child, you know, even just like a piece of chocolate will make your day week. Or sometimes I think of moments like that where somebody gifted me something or something was given to me that might have seemed very small to some, but to me it was the most important book I ever had or just really left a really warm space in my heart. So I like to look for things. Hi! <laughs> Sometimes I catch myself in these uh, little mirror, mirrors all over the, the grocery store. But it's fun to get certain items, not just for my kids for the future, but for kids that might not be able to get a birthday gift or something like that. So think about that next time you're donating something. Include some small gifts. Maybe it's uh, some coloring books. Maybe it's some um, some uh, moon sand or like these. They had a bunch of slime here. I did get a couple of these stickers to take. Um, so because who doesn't love stickers? You know. I I wish I could have gone back for that pink bucket. I'm just realizing that. We don't have a bucket for the beach. Uh, we live really close to uh, the beach. Again, San Francisco is kind of like an island, not really, but there's definitely a lot of places to go to dip your toes in. And now my kids are at a fun age where they'll actually enjoy building sandcastles and doing all that fun stuff. And I want to invest in maybe a bucket where we could put a couple of toys to take to the beach and that's just like our beach bucket <laughs> um but yeah there's a lot of great stuff here for easter next year i ended up i was going to grab a couple of these bags but i ended up like, going against it just because i do have a lot from this year my mom is one of those grandmothers that well my kids are very lucky to have but sometimes she overdoes it with trying to make up you know, uh, makes up for my childhood. She kind of overdoes it with my kids and overgives. So I just save, I save like half of the things that she put in their Easter basket for next year because I just, there's no way that I can give so many things to my kids. Like, there's no way. <laughs> so I ended up saving a bunch of that and we're going to use it next Easter and maybe we'll use it for some arts and crafts too. I was going to take these plates with me, but my son, he's four and a half, he's kind of coming out of that stage where where he wants everything to have like a caricature or something that he likes. Like he went to a place where he loved cars, the movie. He wanted everything to have Lightning McQueen and Cruise. Um, but now he doesn't want that. He wants just like regular big boy uh, plates and spoons. And my daughter, because she's following her big brother, is kind of similar now. Um, she does love baby sharks, so she, I got her a baby shark plate at Target a couple of uh, weeks ago, and she's obsessed with that. But other than that, she tends to follow her brother. I got some of these folders for my kids' art. Um, I just set them up with a little drawer with all of the crayons and paint so that they can do it themselves. And I got some of these um, like envelope folders so that when we do make an art project, we could, we could just add it to that and keep it in that drawer. And they can show us how we can go through it and see what they're doing. Um, I, I did get a couple of these McCormick and different uh, seasoning packets. These are great for donation. Again, a lot of the times we think what well, would be easier so we donate some mac and cheese boxes but then we don't donate the milk and the butter that people need to make these mac and cheese sometimes they might have a chicken but they don't have the seasoning especially for me growing up with no money buying seasoning sometimes felt like 
something that I just, why on earth am I going to pay $2 for a season, you know? So sometimes you end up buying the protein instead of the seasoning because the protein will actually fill you up. But a lot of these meals and a lot of joy comes from the taste of food. So when someone's feeling down and out of luck or something's happening in their life, like they have to go to a food bank to get food, it would be so great that some seasoning was included with with that chicken that was donated or any protein. Um, again, something is better than nothing, but think about that joy that you get from your favorite seasoned food and how that sometimes lifts your spirit and just changes the mood of your day, week, life, you know? Um, I have a lot of moments of food and music. Music can do that too. And just anything really that brings joy is so great. Which which actually reminds me of one of my biggest goals that I have for this channel and for ASMR. I would love to make these videos that also give back to my community in a, in a bigger way. Um, if and when I do get um, approved to be in the YouTube monetization group, I would love to use the money that comes from the ads not only to support my own family, obviously, but to make these videos and be able to go to these grocery stores and it just be food and items to donate, to give back to my community. Wouldn't that be great if we could all like just go shopping together and, and give back to our communities? And obviously I wanna dream big and I wanna feed everyone in the world, but I have to start with my neighbors, with my surroundings, and that way hopefully it spreads out wider and wider, and we can actually make a huge impact, not just on my own community, but on the world, like, wouldn't that be amazing? But yeah, those are one of my big dreams for this channel, is to be able to, to provide for others that, even when they do everything they're supposed to, they just need this extra help and I want to do that and I want to know what you think about that and let me know in the comments you know, do you think that's a good idea do you think that that's something that would work again for this channel let me know in the comments I really appreciate your input and I look forward to reading your comments on the subject but for now I think I'm going to oh my god these fries and chewy chocolate caramel covered up ah! so good. I love to eat that as little. Um, I'm going to go back and get one because definitely it's one of those things that I love. Uh, all these little yummy bags. The tootsie rolls. I hate the tootsie rolls when I was little. I hate it for all of them the Halloween baskets and stuff. But now that I'm an adult, I really enjoy them. These little pup lollipops really good. Which is your favorite flavor? I really enjoy the cherry and the watermelon ones, but the green apple, oh, the green apple is pretty great. Mm, these dum dum, these dum dum, these are going to be two, the limited edition. I know why they're limited edition. Huh, I wonder. Probably they have, maybe it's just for, oh, okay, there's um, Major allergies, maybe the different flavors that they have. These are very different ones. These 40 flavors jelly beans. I love jelly beans. I love that it comes with in the back. You can see which flavors there is. Oh, I love jelly beans. I'm thinking of getting that big box, but they don't sell the big box that safe I have. Oh well, I'll have to go check another store. Alright guys, I think I'm going to head out. Thank you so much for coming and shopping with me.